everyone, it's Katerina with Meat Field Living and I, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've, I've got a lot of really long videos and there's a lot of craziness going on around behind me. So <laughs> there's still moving. We are getting settled into our house um, out here in Colorado and um, normally this time of year I'm decorating for Christmas already but right now it's unpacking boxes. I wanted to just to <laughs> just this really quick I got these two really cool um, carnivore things. Um, I've already torn them open because you don't need to see me sitting here fighting this wrapper but maybe you guys have seen these before. I don't know. Have you seen these? Uh, let me see. Let me open it. They are they're splatter. They're splatter. What are these called? Splatter protectors. Uh, too big, too small. Okay. Anyways, have you guys used these before? Anybody? Um, they were on Shark Tank. I got two of them. I got a 12 inch, which now that I think about it, I don't even know if I have a 12 inch pan. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Uh, it's supposed to block splatters, stop spills, and sears things steam-free. Um, I don't know if that'll... There's a glare because I don't have my lights and everything set up yet. But yeah. Anyways, there are these... Okay, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's like a... It's very big. Okay, this one might be a little bit large. This is supposed to be for a 12-inch pan. I don't know. That's... I mean... It could be like a thing. Um, you know, so there's that. It's called the fry wall. I don't know if you can even probably see it, but I got this, I got two of them. I got that one and then I got one for a 10 inch pan. Or maybe it was an eight inch pan. Obviously that 12 inch one is probably not gonna get used. Uh, this one is the 10 inch. So, have any of you guys used any of these? Has anybody tried these out? I mean, do they work good? Look at this thing, for the love of Pete. You know, this looks like, um, this looks like what, you know where you put on your dogs and your cats? Anyways, um, I wanted to try these for uh, frying things like pork belly, speaking of cats, uh, things like that, they get, ga um, not gas, but get like splatters everywhere. Uh, so yeah, this was just one of these fun little uh, gadget things that I wanted to try out. I'm going to try it out and then I will post whether or not I, um, he's going to, he's about to jump up here, whether or not um, I like it. But if you guys have used these, um, let me know. I can't wait to see what it does. Hey everyone, it's Katerina with Meat Field Living and it is Saturday. It is my first actual full Saturday here in the new house. Um, where we weren't actively moving or emptying a truck and I have been super busy all day today I have just been putting together furniture and hanging up blinds and unpacking boxes and I am exhausted um, it's about 5 49 my time here in the evening and I'm just now going to eat I have been so busy all day today like I said and I haven't been hungry I've had a lot of energy I am finally tired and I need to eat and I'll just decompress a little bit, crochet, and watch some TV. But I wanted to try out um, the, uh, what are these called again? They're called the fry walls. I'm going to go ahead and cook bacon with these and try them out. Now, the video that I posted that was earlier on this was when I actually unboxed them, but now I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Um, I got two of them. I got the 10 inch one and the 12 inch one. And I'm not going to lie to you, this 12 inch one looks like, um, I haven't washed this one yet. This thing is huge. Like, I don't, I mean, I guess it would probably fit, it could fit in a pan, but it's bigger than this pan. And I don't think I have a 12 inch pan. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered them, but there's that. Um, this is the 10 inch one and it is also really big. It's, it's very, very large. Uh, it actually says right here, too big, too small. It actually says on here that it can be tricky to place it into your pan. And it says that it's actually, when I was reading it, that you might think that it's too big, but it's the right size. It looks like it's a little 
difficult to get into the pan, but it blocks splatters, stops spills, and supposed to sear steam free. Uh, and it kind of talks about sizing and how the best fit of the pan is. Um, I'm going to go ahead. These things are good up to 450 degrees. I don't think that I'm going to be cooking anything 450 degrees on my stove, but I'm going to actually cook up some bacon because uh, number one, I need to refill my bacon grease uh, holder because um, obviously I cleaned it out when I moved and I need it. Um, so I need some bacon grease. And you know, I always cooked on the Blackstone, but I didn't bring the Blackstone with me. My uh, husband is attached to that and I didn't want to take that away from him. So I'm also going to make, I'm going to cook in some of the bacon grease, some of the lamb loin chops that I actually got on my Costco haul, which if you haven't seen that video, it's either a about to be out or maybe it'll be out by the time this one comes out but so it says to kind of take this thing with your hands like this but I have to go like this because this doesn't make any sense right right and it says to just kind of set it into the bottom of the pan now it says that it will work best if it is up a little bit higher on like the edge of the pan and mine is it's not completely touching the bottom but um, you know I mean it has a little words on the inside to say in so you know what side is in uh, excuse my stove. I was actually, it is dirty. It is old. I cannot get it clean. I have tried. Um, I was supposed to have a new one delivered days ago and I keep getting the run around. I don't, anyways, this is the lower sodium bacon. I, I don't, I'm not worried about my salt. I do this because, um, of the sugar. There's no, there's no added sugar. So I like the lower sodium bacon. Okay, so this is going to seem like a weirdo schmierdo kind of thing here, but, um, I cook my bacon usually in big strips on the Blackstone. I don't have a Blackstone. I also don't have a griddle. I do have the big burners. I don't have a griddle. <laughs> so, uh, I need to get one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this bacon in half so that it fits in this pan easier. When I don't have the Blackstone, I'll usually cook it in a big deep pan with a lid. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people do it that way. Um, but I want to see how this thing works. And that lid and stuff keeps it from... Um, you know, splattering everywhere. But, you know, I wanted to try this this firewall because, you know, I saw it on Shark Tank. I'm a sucker for <laughs> that kind of stuff. So I'll just cut it into these smaller pieces like this. And this is fine. Oops. Well, I'm going to make a big mess in here. This is perfectly fine. And I'll move the camera in a second so you can see better. Uh, but let me just put some... This is thin bacon. I, sh I like the thick cut bacon. But I'm going to go ahead and fry some of this up in this pan. I haven't cooked bacon in a frying pan in... Well, since I first started doing the carnivore diet. Because I quickly learned that I could use the Blackstone and get a whole pack done in just like one fell swoop. So I don't cook the bacon like this. But we're going to try it out. We're going to try out the fry wall and see if it actually keeps this messy, dirty stove from getting messier and dirtier. Um, and I'll probably have some of this bacon with my lamb loin chops. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's try it out. Let's see what it does. Um, I don't ever like to recommend things uh, to anybody. Not that I've, I haven't even been doing a YouTube channel that long, but even to my friends, I don't recommend things unless I try it out and actually like it. So I figured, you know, let's try this out. And then if I like it, I'll put a link to it on my, my website. But stay tuned. I'm going to move the camera closer so that we can see what it's doing. Okay, so cooking these couple pieces at a time here, this is this is for the, the bees, the birds, the bees. I don't know if that's the saying. So if you stick with me long enough, you're going to notice that I say all the wrong things all the time. I never know what I'm doing. I think I'm cool, and my kids tell me I'm not, so... I will say this, I don't know if the camera can catch it. Again, I've said it a couple times, I need to get a new camera, but it's just not in the budget right now. It has got some splatters up around here, but none of them came out over. 
Um, and I have like my very old antique uh, teapot. I, the, the lid is in a box somewhere sitting there. So I, hope, I was like, I'm going to check it out and make sure that it doesn't get splattered all over it. And this isn't bacon splatter back here. These are stains or something on the stove I can't get off. I like my bacon to be a little crispy. This feels like it's going to take a long time to cook this way. And I might just throw the whole pack in now and then just stir it up. So I'm looking to fill my, you know, my bacon grease. It's, it's dirty. It's well used. It's loved for sure. I need to fill it with some, I need some new grease. And then when this is done, I'm going to go ahead and cook my lamb chops in there. And I know you're looking at the camera and not my face while I'm talking to you. So I just want so you to be able to see how this, you know, is working. And this smells literally amazing. I am so hungry right now that uh, I cannot wait to eat. I mean, is there ever a time, though, that bacon doesn't smell amazing? Probably not. So I'm actually just going to... I think I'm just going to throw this in here. I'm going to throw it in there like I do, that is going to be loud, like I do in the big pot and see how splatter resistant this thing is. You know, I have to just test it out, right? You know, make sure that it's good. It is, in fact, good. So far, I'm impressed. This is like an odd, weird shaped thing, but there have been no splatters that have got outside of the rim of this thing yet. Now I'm just kind of just cooking a bunch of it together. Um, again, this thing is it's pretty awesome. You can see the splatter line kind of just goes right around here. Uh, there's a few up closer to the top, but very few. Uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. I'm impressed so far. It is weird, and I... The big one is, like, it's big. Seriously, it's... It's pretty... It's. I don't think I own a 12-inch skillet now that I think about it, so I don't even know why I purchased that. So, so far, I am pretty impressed by this. Um, like I said, you can just see the splatter ring right around here. There's a couple uh, spots up towards the top, but for the most part, it all is staying right in there. It's, it's weird. The thing is weird. I honestly am shocked that it worked. I had little faith in it, um, but it, it is. And I threw a, 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 you know, a bunch of pieces of bacon in here. I'm also going to cook my lamb chop in this bacon grease, and that gets a little splattery as well. So, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it is like very foamy in there. It's very foamy in there. Okay, it has really been popping. But I wanted it to get really done. I might have overdone this one a little bit, um, but it's okay.
it's like really foamy. And then I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because I need to sear these little bad boys. And then I'll cook them slow. They are very thick. Okay, nothing splattered me and hit me. Normally when I do that, it will hit me. So I was reading on here a little bit, and it says to avoid the foam buildup when deep frying, uh, ensure that the bottom of your fry wall is resting above the oil line and is not submerged in the oil. Well, this doesn't fit. I mean, I can't get it above the oil line, and I'm not really deep frying, I wouldn't think. So I don't know um, if that's the cause. It really foamed up a lot with the bacon. And, I mean, it still cooked the bacon. I still had no issues uh, cooking it. And, I mean, I'm kind of frying. I'm basically frying my lamb chops in here, and I'm going to... I don't eat them. I mean, they are medium rare to almost, I mean, I wouldn't say rare, but they're, I don't cook them really long. Uh, but so far, I'm going to say this. I am, it is odd. It's awkward. Uh, it wasn't as hard to get in there as I thought it was going to be. And maybe that's because my pan, maybe I don't have the right size. Uh, but I absolutely, I, if I normally, for me, because I don't like doing small batches of bacon like that, I still would probably just throw my bacon. I usually do it in, I don't know if I can grab this. I usually do my bacon in a big pot like this. Or I'll do like another, like just a big, a big pot with a glass lid. I throw it all in there and stir it up and just keep cooking it. If I'm going to do it in a pot, I probably wouldn't do this to cook bacon unless I just wanted to cook a couple small pieces. But I, I, it does work very well. I, there's no mess. There's no mess for me to clean up at all. Not one little splatter anywhere. And I mean, I definitely would fry my food with this. I will be using this again, especially because I don't have the Blackstone and everything here that I did at the other house. Um, this is my bacon. I've already ate a bunch of pieces of it. Because I was, like I said, I'm hungry. It's 6.30 now, and I'm still having, yeah, I'm just getting ready to eat now. These guys are just about done as much as I'm going to cook them because, again, I like them to be, um, it's hilarious to say, being that I was a vegan, but I like them to be nice and, and red inside. So, uh, I think I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, and not because it doesn't work, because it's not easy to clean. Um, if you have a dishwasher, you know, you throw it in the dishwasher, it, you can... Um, and I can wash it by hand. I'm not a child. I can wash my dishes by hand, but you know, it's floppy. It's awkward. I mean, it's, it's small, like it folds down pretty flat to store, but, um, that, that, and the fact that it, it seems like it might be a little, uh, could be a little confusing. I don't know if I have it correct in here or not. I probably could read the directions a little bit better. I absolutely will use it though. It does exactly what it says that it's going to do. The foaming is not really an issue to me. I don't care about that. And um, again, space-wise, I'm just going to shove it in the bottom of a cupboard. This one, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. It's a 12-inch, like I said. But anyways, absolutely would recommend. I'm going to put a link to them um, on my store or my website where my affiliate links are. So if you're interested in getting one yourself. Of course, you know, if you do purchase anything from my affiliate links, I do get a very small amount of commission from it. Um, it is not a lot. I'm definitely not, you know, getting rich on stuff like this, but any little bit helps support the channel so that I can put out more videos and things like this and buy these fun things to review and put out for you guys. So but anyways, if you like these kind of things where I'm using the product and reviewing it and, you know, giving my opinion and that and seeing me use it, let me know in the comments down below because I could do a lot of this type of stuff. Every time I get a new gadget uh, or thing like that that I want to try out, I could be filming. I just haven't been because I didn't know if it would be interesting to people or not. 
Um, I will say again, um, I say this every time. If you are a current subscriber of mine, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging in there and staying with me and supporting me on this journey. If you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, like, comment, share. Uh, it does help, as I said, to get the word out. Um, if you know my story, I am over 50. I was a whole food plant-based vegan. I was very sick. I had a lot of conditions. I still obviously do. Autoimmune disorders, uh, horrible GERD, IBS. I, the list goes on. It, it, it really does. Uh, most importantly, though, my anxiety, depression, uh, PTSD, those things. Um, I am a veteran. Those things have been just remarkably remarkably handled um, since being on the carnivore diet. So for me, I'm trying to get my story out there. I'm trying to help other people that might be going through the things that I have been going through um, and seeing that this, this radical change can literally give you your life back. So in any case, that was long. I'm so sorry. If you are new here and you would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and I say every day, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and make sure you eat your meat.